Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Kelvin Ma. I'm from remotescale.com. We help Airbnb hosts improve number one, their search visibility, and number two, their conversions as well. So in this topic, we're gonna be talking mostly about conversions, but of course, there's gonna be a little bit of search ranking stuff sprinkled in as well. The topic for today is all about Airbnb split testing. I'm very, very, very excited about this because I think it's a game changer in the way that uh, hosts are going to be able to make more money on the platform. And that comes down to uh, Airbnb giving those tools to us. So they're gonna be able to give super hosts tools for um, for, Air, for A-B testing. So that's taking 50% um, of your clicks, your views, your traffic going to your original listing and then uh, the rest of your 50% percent of traffic is going to go to a variant so another version of your listing and then you're going to do that over a set period of time collect the data and then from that you're going to be able to see which one performed better for conversions which one performed um which one be performed better just for getting more clicks and everything like that so uh, let's go on. Let's get this party started. Uh, first of all, though, uh, if you want the full process of how everything is done, uh, click the link below. It's uh, to a blog post that we wrote up. Uh, it gives you everything on how to get this get started today, basically with this. All right. Um, so the first portion of this uh, video is going to be going over the best practices for proper split testing on Airbnb. And that really means uh, what I would say the first principle is, is comparing apples to oranges. All right. So don't compare apples to apples, compare apples to oranges. And what I mean by that is that if you are going to test something, make sure that you are testing something that is drastically different. All right. Because from that manner, you are going, or at least starting out, you should be testing things that are very different. All right. Um, the more that you test, obviously it'll get more, uh, you'll just run out of things to test basically. But, uh, what I mean by apples versus oranges is that if you are going to test your, your photos, for example, then, uh, change the entire decor of your Airbnb be listing uh, change out all the uh, you know the ch ch change out uh change out the pillows, the, 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 the sheets on the bed and everything like that, change it to, um, you know, a whole different color, a whole different scheme basically. And then you can utilize that because from, from comparing your old photos to these new photos with a new decor, um, which probably that you think is better then you'll actually see the difference from there. And that, that is what I mean by comparing apples to oranges. It's very different. Uh, it's a very different thing. So compare very different things. <laughs> I probably can't hammer that in enough, right? So moving on, principle number two, it's all about testing two versions, right? So make it simple on yourself. Don't don't try to uh, confuse yourself. Just when you're getting started, just choose two versions and then compare those two. But if you can, make a whole brain dump, right? So open up an Excel spreadsheet and just write down all the different things that you can test. Later on in this video, I'm gonna kind of give you, um, I'm gonna give you the, the the most important areas that you can test first. But of course, I'm sure in your mind uh, that you've got a few ideas to run yourself, right? So, and the, the, the third principle is that you want to test with the most views. So if you've got, um, let's say you have a portfolio of, uh, of 20 to 30 listings, then choose the, uh, uh, make sure to apply the tests to the listings that have the most views because then you can really actually see uh, quicker data at the end of the day, right? So that's why, um, that's why people say that running advertisements and stuff like that allows you to to uh, to fail faster in a sense because from that way that you're you're able to just basically buy traffic and then uh, look at that traffic and see uh, make decisions on that right so it's taking that same principle but also saying with your views uh, for your listings whatever uh, listings that you have that have the most views apply these split tests first on those because that's where you're going to be able to uh, take that data and then disperse it amongst the rest of your portfolio all right so what can we split test guys what can we split test and um, I'm gonna go over to a few a few of these and um, a lot of these are going to be um, you know I would probably even say common knowledge for you if you're if you're a host with with lots of uh, lots of different properties you've probably tried a lot of different things um, so I don't want to make this boring for you guys I'm not going to make it boring for you so we're gonna sprinkle in an extra uh, some little more advanced tips as well right so uh, number one 
featured photos. In the featured photo section, um, the featured photo, number one, actually, is, is the thumbnail, right? So when people are scrolling by on Airbnb, whether they're doing it on their phone or the, whether they're doing it on desktop, uh, the thumbnail image is considered what I, the featured photo, all right? And um, I guess another tip would be to uh, test things out, right? Like what I mentioned before, do dark and uh, dark and light, you know, change around the pillows, change around the sheets, do all that kind of stuff. And then um, also, you know, don't, this doesn't just apply to Airbnb, it can be applied to VRBO, booking.com, um, even getting direct bookings on your own website, right? So with VRBO, they allow you to check out, um, they allow you to, to see ranking statistics and stuff like that, right? Um, whereas Airbnb doesn't allow you to get that stuff. Um, you can see that stuff with Rank Breeze and you can do your testing through there, but Beyond that, uh, they're not going to give you those capabilities. And uh, you can also take this off road too, right? So you can take this onto um, you can take this onto uh, your direct bookings by testing Facebook. All right, so you can go and and test uh, which listings get or which images get the most click through rates. Then that'll give you a, a good idea for what you can apply to the rest of your listings on all of your uh, on all of your platforms, right? All of the different channels. All right. So that's the first one. That's featured photos right there. All right. And then we've also got the listing title. So the listing title you can add, you can add, um, you can add, uh, you can make your listing title short. You can make it long. You can add capital letters. You can have no capital letters. You can add emojis in there as well, right? Um, it's it really honestly depends on your market so if your market has uh, everybody is using capital letters then just don't use capital letters and use um, use just lowercase letters and just try and stand out right that's what I call peacocking um, that reminds me actually so at the at the at the bottom of this of this video as well um, I'm also going to post something uh, it's just a downloadable package of all these different Airbnb listing uh, featured photos so you know you go around I basically just collect them all ones that stand out to me so just uh, honestly do yourself a favor and just download that package. It's something that uh, you can have a look at. It's probably will be useful for you because it's from all these different listings from all over the world. All right. So moving on, number three, uh, listing summary. So listing summary, this is that short summary at the very, very top that somebody sees at the very beginning. It's only 500 characters. It's so little that people get very, very annoyed by. But what I like to do and uh, what I like to do is I like to take the um, the search suggestions. So that that's that's um, when you, uh, for example, what, that, what a search suggestion is, is that when you go to Chicago, uh, let's say your your listing is in Chicago, go to www.airbnb.com, type in Chicago and then space bar in the search bar there. And then what will happen is that you'll be suggested um, a bunch of different landmarks that Airbnb uh, finds uh, that they're basically that are popular that um, that people are also searching for, right? That's why they show that stuff. It's for recommendations, right? It's the same thing that Google does for their search engines. Um, but Airbnb does it for theirs, so that that's one thing. What I like to do is I like to take those uh, take those search suggestions that are in there, and I like to put those inside of the summary, so it's the first thing that people see, uh, especially if it's important, right? So let's say you're very close to the downtown core, just you know one or two train stops away from the core. Maybe you are in the core, you know, and maybe say uh, how far you are away from the airport as well, because generally I've seen that in all of those search suggestions that the airport is generally uh, it's listed as a search suggestion because. We're in the travel industry, right, guys? All right, so moving on. Number four, we've got host photo and description. So the host photo description is at the very bottom of the listing. And um, in this video, in this photo that I've kind of showed you here, we've got uh, that this, that, uh, that this, that this, uh, this host would like to support and is supporting the living wage pledge and the living wage pledge is just that they uh, it's just to say that they pay their their cleaners a ethically and honest uh, wage so that they can support themselves as well it's just important for everyone to to be aware of that uh, that 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 even though they're booking an airbnb and it is sometimes you know a little bit cheaper than than um than than hotels and stuff like that there's still some costs associated with that and those costs they, they they get passed down to to uh, they get given to the to them 
uh, to the cleaners and everything like that, right? So people want to connect with their Airbnb hosts. They want to, uh, the number one, they want to stay in a great neighborhood, but also they also want to make sure that they're staying with a host that they can connect with as well, that they have some sort of alignment with, right? So don't be afraid to just say what uh, what type of person you are and, and share that kind of stuff, right? Because I'm sure if you have started hosting people uh, at the very beginning and maybe you don't meet those people anymore, but you know, when you did at first, I'm sure you had, uh, you had a little inclination of what type of people that generally come to your to your uh, to your property right all right so let's move on number five we've got the space the space is my favorite area it's where you have unlimited character space that you can add into your Airbnb listing um, what I like to do is I like to make sure that we have uh, number one we have some reviews on there so people don't have to scroll to the bottom we can kind of choose pick and choose the reviews that we want to put at the top there add those into the space just to add a little bit of uh, what people call social proof um, it's the same reason why when you go to um, basically any online store generally there's some reviews especially on Amazon Amazon was built on reviews, right? And then the second part, what I like to do in the space section is I like to add scannable sections. So that's basically where people are allowed to, uh, once they're done searching through the photos, then they can go and they can just browse through the listing description, quickly go to the bedroom section, the bathroom section, uh, the uh, outdoor area section, and really get a full grasp of what um, what really holds there. And the, li- the listing description, this space area is extremely important for for large guest sizes, right? So if you have a listing that holds a lot of guests, then, uh, and they, you know, they do a lot of their research, right? They have to because they want to make sure that everyone is comfortable inside of the area. So this whole uh, space section is, um, is very, very, very important. So make sure you utilize it. All right, so, and the next section we have is the neighborhood section. Uh, What I mentioned previously is I like to put the search suggestions, which sometimes can be neighborhood stuff, inside of the, um, inside of the, uh, inside of the summary section at the very top there. But in the neighborhood section, you know, don't be afraid to put in your favorite restaurants. Make some recommendations and stuff like that, right? Because this stuff is, uh, you know, when somebody's traveling around, neighborhoods are generally pretty important right they it's it's i would say it's fairly highly weighted in the decision making process that a that a traveler would have all right and then in this example too we also have a walk score so if you're not familiar with walk score w a l k s c o r e walkscore.com um, it's just a, uh, it's just an online website that allows you to pop in an address, and then in that address, you are able to see um, a grade of how um, how easy it would be for you to walk around and get to places that of uh, places of areas of interest, basically, right? So whether that's gas stations or twenty uh, four hour pharmacies or let's say the um, the stadium or a very popular area with lots of shops and things like that, that's what a walk score is. It's um, I would say it's probably Probably a a North American thing. That's just me kind of guessing off the top of my head there. Um, But uh, if there is anything equivalent in your own um, in your own area, then for sure add that in there. And then if you can, maybe just add in other ones too, because you know there's lots of international guests probably coming through. All right. So if you guys are ready to start testing. I would like you to go down below, uh, see that there's a there's there's that uh, that article that I wrote the, below that uh, is going to give you a whole outline. Going to go a lot deeper than what we've gone through in this um, in this video here. But it's also going to have it's also going to allow you to get started today too. So we've got a strategy for helping you manually do this. Uh, if Airbnb doesn't give you the tool, then you can do this manually, and it also is going to help you apply that to other different channels as well, not just Airbnb. So. Again, thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you very soon.